Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags and welcome back to part number six of the Victorian Mansion Let's Build. How's everybody doing? We are back today, ready to continue to work on this thing. Uh, last episode, we added this wall here on the left side at the front of the building. And we're just going to continue to work off that momentum this episode. It's added an extra wall here. Start to work around the back, maybe add a garage as well, maybe even a driveway and get started on the floor plan today. That's definitely gonna be a thing that we're gonna have to get started on since uh, we're kind of pushing that back further and further as I've been trying to add more and more detail to the front of this. And that's where we're gonna kind of start off this episode. I'm just gonna add a few more small details that I wanna to add to this place. So I'm gonna just grab a few blocks that I'm gonna need, like uh, you know the standard stuff that I've been using throughout the whole build, some sandstone, smooth sandstone, some stone bricks and some pillared quartz. I'm probably also gonna grab some uh some stairs and some slabs if i can remember where this stuff is and there we go and right here so uh guys we're getting some pretty good progress done in this place however at the same time i'm trying to take it a little bit slow because i want to make sure that you know everything is going smoothly and it's and it's looking good because you know these kind of builds i want to make sure that you know i'm taking my time on it so i am completely 100 percent sold on each um, design that I put in. So for this design that I'm doing right now, what I'm gonna do is just add another one of these little windows up here in the top, similar to that, but just a little bit different. And obviously it's gonna be a lot smaller. So uh, we got a good start here just by putting some sideways stairs. I'm just gonna sneak my way in here, place a couple of sandstone blocks and then just pop back out. I think I'll just do three of those actually. We'll place an upside down stair there. And then I need to grab some stone brick blocks, some full blocks and stick one in right there underneath that all right so next thing i should probably do is open up some space here and i'll probably throw down a couple blocks of sandstone like that and obviously that's kind of going to be an ugly connection that we're going to have to solve and i think what i'm going to do to solve this problem is just throw down some slabs and some stairs i think that's going to be a pretty good solution there and that's still, uh, I think we can switch that back to stone brick since it's not going to be showing from the inside. So that will look pretty solid. And I think that's pretty good. Um, could add some more to that. Maybe even some some uh, cobblestone walls could look pretty good there. That's just kind of like edging that. Let's take a look at that from a distance. That could be a, a good little uh, final design right there. So yeah, I think I'll go with that. Obviously, it's not as big as that window, but there's not as much space. So we have an extra little window up there, which is cool. I'll keep that. And let's keep on rolling here, guys. Um, next thing I want to do is add some little garden features out here in the front. So I think what I'm going to do is take out this a couple of blocks and just try to make some sort of garden design out here. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm looking for. I just want to kind of try something. Maybe like that. Like 31313. Three, three. That could look pretty good. Let's try it over here. So we take that out too. Then one, one, two, three, two. And then actually that might not connect very well. Uh, maybe I'll just do two then and then three or two, two and four maybe. Uh, or maybe this. That could look pretty good. I don't know. I kind of want it to connect like that. So maybe just uh, three and three might look pretty good like that. I'm not really sure. But these are going to be, maybe I'll just make one bigger than the other. That could be another possibility. Or even, I could have another idea. I could connect this one out even further and kind of have this one be, uh, you know, going wrapping all the way around the side here. That could be a possibility. So, something like that, maybe. And that could, wait, let me get us block fixed in there. Okay. So, we just got like a big flower bed that kind of runs all the way around like that. And then a small one on that side. That could look potentially pretty cool. I'd have to fill this thing in with some uh, some stained clay real quick. Let me grab that. We'll grab all these different kinds of stained clay and just kind of randomly assort it. Let me just break some of these bushes here that we don't really need right now. And I'll just fill it in with black to start. And then I can come back in and add some other colors. But this is going to be like our soil in here. So we'll throw this all down. And this should look pretty nice. Um, and I, it's good to have things that are unsymmetrical. So... If it's a little bit, if it's obviously it's a lot bigger on this side, as opposed to the other side of the stairs, so that'll look good. We'll get this all filled in here, and stained clay in this texture pack is a great use for like soil that you can put in these beds. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of randomly mix in some different colors, just to add some more detail to this, because that's the name of the game when it comes to this build is just 
lots and lots of detail is what we're going for here. So let me just kind of add some gray stain clay as well. Kind of stick this around through there. And maybe like one or two more right there. And I think that's good for like assortment of colors. And then lastly, I'll add some dirt. Obviously on the dirt, we can actually place some some, uh, some, uh, some flowers. I almost said flower pots. Some, flower, some flowers and we can add some ferns as well. I'll just kind of like randomly add that through here. That should be pretty good. So we'll add all the, um, the flowers and stuff like that later on. But that's a good start. And then let's just quickly do the same idea right here. And I might eventually make this one a little bit bigger. Right now it's kind of small. But for now, we'll leave it how it is. And I should probably go like that because that's going to connect to the grass. And then it's going to turn back to grass. And I don't want that. So something like that, maybe that's good. Okay, so we have two of those put in. This is some extra detail out front. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a path here that's going to connect out to the driveway, which I plan to have over there. And what else can we add? Oh, yeah, that's right. I want to add like just a little bit of like a lighting feature out front here. Um, let me grab some stairs. So what I wanted to do was place a stair or a uh, full block right there. And another one right there, just kind of like diagonal, one block away from this block here. Place some beacons on top. And then I was thinking I could put some stairs kind of pointing in the same direction right above these. And that's going to be just kind of like a little little connection there. Something like that. So those will just be a couple of little lighting features out front just to get a little bit of lighting here in the front yard. All right, so I think that's kind of good for the front yard in terms of like just adding some more detail to it right now we're going to add some stuff to that later on in the episode probably uh, one thing i want to work on is uh this up here there's a ch something i want to change this to make it look a little bit better so we're going to go ahead and throw that in let's go one two three like this and basically i'm just going to open up this right here and we're going to change this slightly also guys i uh, appreciate the uh there's been several of you who have um sent me some pictures on Twitter of your interpretations of this build. I like it. Thank you guys very much for the for the support on that. Um, it's pretty cool because a lot of you guys have been, you know, taking this idea, right? And you've been kind of just changing it a little bit and just making it your own, which is pretty, pretty cool. So I like it, guys. I've liked some of the stuff you guys have sent me. So I want to, like, somehow, like, connect this here. Actually, I should, could probably just do that, right? Yeah, that works. So I want to just like connect that so it's just um, a little bit less railing. And then that's going to kind of lead over to what I'm going to do over here, which is going to be just kind of like, uh, should I use some quartz for this? No, I'll just use those. So I'm just going to kind of push this back one block, basically. Um, so anvil's here, there, then a slab. And then you have to fix this, obviously. So and there goes the anvil. <laughs> Bye. So we'll push this back. And then basically this entire design is just going to get pushed back one, basically. Um, okay, so this turns here and then goes back this way. Same thing here. And this is just going to connect back down. This shouldn't be too much of a drastic change. It should just kind of seamlessly connect. So hopefully it will. And I'm going to have to push that wall back as well. So let's do that. I'm going to place a block there. Okay, that's, that quartz there is always getting in the way. We need some slabs. And right here will probably be a full block. Yeah. We'll go like that. And then in here, this is just going to get pushed back one block. Really simple. Just like that. And actually, should that be a full block there? Oh, no. It's it'll probably get covered up. Actually, will it? Yeah, yeah. Because that'll go there. And then this will connect to like that, I think. And that should be... A good solution to this actually what I should probably do is push back that entire design so it's the same connection there that might take some time actually so I don't think I'm gonna do that right now I guess I got other things planned for today's video so I think I'll wait for that later on because that's gonna definitely be a time consumer right there basically all I want to do is just push back this wall one block so that means pushing back this roof one block and I could honestly just do that off camera it's not that difficult of a of a change okay and then i'm just going to quickly just kind of adjust that make that look a little bit better there so yeah i'll leave that for now uh but that's basically the design i'm going for and then what i think i might be able to do is connect it like that 
I think. I don't see why not. That might look weird. No, not really. It looks fine. So that the reason why I just did that was just to kind of just break off that shape a little bit and just add a little bit more curvature to the roof. Just a subtle detail that I think makes the place look a little bit better. So moving on, let's go ahead and work our way over here, guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a wall down right here. And I'm going to build something relatively similar to what we have right here, funny enough. It's going to be kind of like that same wall design. Uh, but this is going to be the garage. So how many blocks do I want to take this down is the million dollar question, which I don't really have an answer for right now. So I'm just going to take this down several blocks. Um... Let's go like this, and then there's going to be a wall right here on the interior. So we'll probably want to make this a pretty decent number here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think I'm going to go 8, because I think that'll be good. Since usually the cars that I make are 6 blocks long, so if it's 8 there, that should be good. There'll be plenty of space for cars to be parked in here. So we'll go 8 for now. Could change it later. So that's going to turn there. And then this basically is just going to kind of just run down and we'll punch a window out later on. We're going to make the two block wide window, so an even number will be good for this part of the build. Okay, so that's going to go up to, we'll take this up one more. And then the upside down slabs will go right here, run around. And then we got the stairs on top of that. Not too, nothing too crazy about this at all. And then we'll run the... The full blocks across the same um, roof design that we've been doing throughout the whole build. Just kind of rinse and repeat is pretty much the name of the game here. So I have this run down, and I think this will go up maybe... Let me take a look at how many I've done. I might want to do three layers of this. So right there we have... That looks pretty good. I think I'm going to take this up one more. So this will be the top level. And then that'll go there. That'll go there, and then this is going to be anvils. Then we're going to obviously take this wall down, so we can kind of just connect this shape a little better so we can get a better idea of what this is going to look like, from the outside at least. So something like that, that's looking pretty good. And then this is just going to kind of continue downward. Same thing with the slab, same thing with everything. Just follow this on the way back. And this is going to be one of those builds where the backyard is going to be... A little bit tricky because it's not gonna it's gonna we're gonna have to kind of work around what we've put in the front and i think i might make the back of the house a little bit more way more symmetrical i should say than the front um just can maybe add like two standout features and then a, like some sort of balcony or porch or something like that all right so i want to go like three blocks in we're gonna do an even or an odd number for this so this will go out and then i'm gonna punch a hole right here let's go four blocks wide for the garage then we'll jump three, and then we'll go one, two, three, four again. And one thing I'm still trying to debate about, and this is something I've been thinking about for a little bit now, uh, I'm not sure yet how I want to do the garage in this build because, you know, the more I think about it, I'm thinking about possibly, uh, you know, making like a separate building for the garage, like, you know, not connected to the house. Um, it's kind of just like, a, you know, it's a garage, basically. And instead of connecting to the house, we'll just have like kind of like the driveway connect to it. And that might be just like, it'll just not be connected basically. And I still might do that. Uh, I'm just really not sure yet. I'm going to see how this looks. And if I don't like it, then I can do that. But I'm going to start off with this idea and then just kind of, you know, go from there. But basically what I got to do is punch out something in this wall. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how did that become nine? Did I miscount? I don't I don't know where I messed up there, but that should be eight. So that's not right. Um, should I make it nine? Well, what I wanted to do originally was I wanted to punch out a window like right here. That window, does the window have to be symmetrical though? Not really, because it's not symmetrical over here. I don't think. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four, and then two. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so we'll, we'll leave it unsymmetrical. That's fine. I don't mind. Okay, so we're going to go like this, and I'm going to place some of the same same exact design that we did on the other side, some upside-down stairs, and then some smooth sandstone. And then we got to grab our black stained glass and fill it on in. I think this is going to be a 4x2 window, maybe 3x2, three 3x2. Two, three two. Actually, since it's a garage, it could be 4x2. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do 4x2 for this one. 
Okay, I don't know why I broke that. That's supposed to be there. And then we're going to do the T-shaped quartz thing right there to add on to that. All right, so we'll leave that for now. I don't mind that, actually, because it kind of connects up here to these last two anvils. That kind of runs through that shape, and I don't have really a problem with that. So um, this is looking pretty good so far. Let's keep on rolling with this with this design. So I'm thinking for the garage doors, I want to do acacia wood sideways. Now, call me crazy, but I think acacia wood kind of looks pretty good for garage doors if you do it sideways. Obviously, acacia wood is pretty new, so something we haven't used a whole lot in the past on any of my builds, but definitely still a block that I like a lot. It's a, it's a cool block. I like the orange on it, but the side of it is definitely the part that is really, really nice about it. So it's definitely unique wood, and that's what's cool about it, I think. It's just so different from the others, so that's why I like it. So that'll be our garage doors, 4x4. Four four. Nothing too fancy about it. I'm going to grab some smooth sandstone and have this run down like this. Same thing on this side. And that's just going to be how it's going to be right now. Pretty basic. We're going to add some more details to that later, but we're trying to get some other things done. So I think that's going to be pretty much what it's going to be looking like. Okay. So we have that. Now the next thing we could do is add a driveway possibly. And the driveway is going to obviously be kind of curved. So I think I'm going to do something like this kind of just do like a two and then maybe three one, two three four five one, two three one two three two three four just uh you know real basic curving right now nothing too insane about it something like that right and that's going to be the outer ring of it or the inner ring i guess and then the outer ring would run from this side and go out several blocks two three four one two three one two one one two one whoops one two three it's gonna bug me i know it's gonna be broken anyway but it's gonna bug me anyway okay and this is gonna be the outer ring so actually that might need to take that out even more uh, so far it looks pretty good it's fine for now I'll, I'll leave it how it is for now two three four one two three four five Five, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six. Do something like that, maybe. Mm, breaking blocks, I don't want to break. Two, three. But you get the idea. This is just gonna. This is just a kind of like a rough idea of what I want to do with this. So nothing set in stone right now. This will probably get changed a little bit even. So something like that. And that'll kind of be. The shape of the driveway that side might right there might be changed a little bit but that's kind of just like a basic basic idea of what i'm thinking about for this driveway might even make that a little bit skinnier and this is going to continue to run down i'm going to make a really big um front lawn for this place and then the next thing i want to do we'll just we'll just leave that for now that'll probably get changed later because it's just that was just a rough a rough idea for just to lay out on the video and next thing we're going to do is take this idea right down through here since this is the edge of the garage. And this is going to run straight across. And I think I'll take this down a couple of blocks here. Um, should I take it down one block past? I think so. That's probably fine. And we'll do this running down to here, which will be a connection. So we'll follow this pathway down. And then I think I'll come in two blocks, maybe just one. We'll go two. Actually, it probably should be one. Um, we'll go two. This is just going to be kind of where I'm just making some sort of shape for the backyard right now. So this will run down right here and eventually connect. Oh, that was perfect. Okay. So this will continue down. And then we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's now symmetrical, the front foyer, which we're going to probably do something magnificent for that make it real tall and how long is this right here so we got one two three four five six seventy nine ten eleven we're gonna do the same thing over here one two three four five six seventy nine ten eleven and then we're gonna turn this have this come back and then follow the path down even further and then i think we will be able to connect it to the end which is going to be right here so just like that we at least we have the back of the house kind of 
you know that's that's where the house is going to end so this house is much more um horizontal <laughs> i guess um it's pretty wide instead of it is it doesn't have a lot of depth to it but it's pretty wide so that's going to look pretty good um again i'm still not 100 percent sure if i want to add a garage that's actually connected to the place that could give us more space in the interior for other things uh what else can we do that's looking pretty good obviously uh off camera or something like that I'm going to come in here and replace or just start to put in some flooring in here. So one thing I definitely got to do is replace all this spruce wood that we placed before the update came out with some dark oak wood. And same thing up here. And I'm just going to come in and basically just to start to lay down some... Gosh, I got to stop messing that up. Start to lay down some floors in here, basically. And then we'll continue the interior of the floor plan later on. I want to make sure the floor plan is good because having the, the floor plan kind of come together nicely and there aren't any like strange, you know, shapes in the interior of the house is probably one of the most important things about doing a let's build is you want to make sure that there's no like weird spaces and stuff that like wouldn't make sense in real life. So I try to make it as realistic as possible. And I think that's pretty good for now. Uh, what else can we just, is there anything else we can add on here before we conclude today's video? I think what we can do to finish this up is just kind of add some things to this flower bed. So let's go ahead and just grab a bunch of things here. And I'm just going to kind of place some ferns and some roses scattered throughout this. So we'll kind of come in and just do a couple of ferns, a couple of roses like that. And then I can come in and place some of this. So, so maybe like spruce wood will go on brown or spruce wood uh, leaves will go on brown. And then oak wood leaves will go on the, the black uh, stained glass and kind of just follow a pattern, I guess. And maybe not all of them will get filled in, but, you know, most of them. So just kind of spam this a little bit with some some leaves. And then we can come in and place some, some spruce leaves in here. That's gray. And then the birch will go on the gray. How about that? So like this. And this just kind of creates like this nice little flower bed here, right? Kind of fancy. And like that, and just grab a few more oak leaves put through here. A couple more spruce leaves, uh, oak leaf, and we'll probably add a, eh, you know, <laughs> we'll break the rule right there. I'll probably fix that later. So something like that is our little flower bed, right? It's the best we can do on Xbox. Um, obviously, there's a lot more flowers, hopefully coming in the future to this console, but for now, that's kind of like a little flower bed, you know, thing that we can add just to add more decoration and then we'll do a couple of birch spruce an oak a rose and a fern and there you go guys i think that's where i'm going to conclude today's video uh we're making some progress in this place the front of the house is uh is pretty close to being done um it's it pretty much is done unless i want to change something about the garage but we got a little bit of the floor plan put in today the front of the house is looking pretty much finished including the all the uh, flower beds and stuff like that. So starting to add some nice detail and decorations to this place. It's looking pretty good. And then uh, next episode, we're really going to kind of hunker down and, and make a really nice floor plan for this place. So that's the goal for next episode. And I think it's looking pretty good so far. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you guys are getting some cool inspiration from this and uh, enjoying the Let's Build. And I'm definitely enjoying building it. It's a lot of fun to just come on here and just build houses. So thanks for watching, everybody. Give a like if you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace out.